Hello, good evening, and welcome to our channel once again. My name is Bimbo. If you're just seeing this channel for the first time, Jackpa with your days is a channel where you can get relevant and important information on how you can jump out to Portugal where we reside, to Austria and other beautiful European countries where we believe that uh, you are going to have a beautiful relocation experience. So continue on the same line of easy visa opportunity. Today, I want to bring you another easy visa opportunity to Europe. Yes. So we've dropped information to, uh, uh, to uh, Portugal, to Finland. We've dropped information, the uh, vocational opportunity to uh, Italy. So today we want to drop another easy visa opportunity to Malta. Yes, Malta. Malta is an European country for those of you who do not know. So which means the residence card that you get in all, uh, that, that you get in Malta give you access to about 30 to 26 European countries without visa. So which means when you go to Malta, if at the end of the day, if you decide that uh, you, are, you are no longer comfortable with the lifestyle, or so you don't uh, like it there for some reason, you can easily move to any other European country of your choice. By the way, there are jobs in Malta. There are many, many English jobs in Malta. And I think, I think it's now a trend that uh, many multinational companies are moving their uh, jobs to Europe. So uh, jobs in Portugal, jobs in Italy, English jobs in Malta. So there are many jobs in Malta. And I know this for a fact because I have people in Malta. Yes, I have connection in Malta, people that are living there as a student. So I, I you know, during my extensive research to uh, other European countries where we believe that uh, you can easily get easy visa that will cut the stress of uh, uh, going through legalization, verifications of your document and all of those lengthy process that you go through to be able to get a normal student visa. So that is, that is the beauty of vocational opportunity because all that is required for you to be able to apply for visa or get admission is your O level. Either your WAHEC, your GCE, your NAPTEP, you know, NECO, whatever you call it, all is O level. So all is under the framework of O level. O level. Okay? So that is what we are researching about this period. That is the information we are bringing to your way this period. And like I said, between now and the ending of March, most of these schools usually release applications for international applicants, especially uh, especially uh, uh, coming from uh, uh, English-speaking part of Africa, because they know that uh, you will need visa to be able to come into their country. And based on my findings, Malta is one of the easy f or, or, or um, um, stress-free visa. That is what I'm looking for, stress-free visa that you can get to come to Europe, to come to Malta. So I want to talk about two vocational institutions with cheap tuition fee, minimum of 1380 tuition fee that you can pay instrumentally. I want to talk about two of them in Malta. Yes, they have different vocational opportunities depending on you know your 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 budget, your goal, your plan, your you know for the future. So that is what we determine. And there are many courses. In fact, all their courses are taught in English. I've I've done extensive research about them. I've emailed the admission officers. I've communicated. I've we've exchanged a lot of correspondence. So I know this for a fact. All their courses are taught in English. So, I mean, the two vocational institutions I want to talk about today, all their courses are taught in English and they accept O-level, yes, with minimum of um, a C, C6, yes, with minimum of C6 in English, that gives you a waiver in this vocational institution. So, your O-level, regardless of, you know, whatever it is, your O-level, you, you'll be able to get and you can also work as you're studying, your, uh, as, you're, as, you're, uh, as you're working, to study your vocational uh, 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 courses, you can be working in Malta. So that is what we will be talking about today. The type of uh, different types of um, courses that are taught in English, how you can apply for this course, the step by step, the step by step application procedure, what and what you need uh, in terms of document as an international applicant. 
that is what we'll be talking about today so you i mean and at the end of your at the end of your uh your course they will also give you an opportunity for internship they will fix you up with an internship with a paid internship opportunity and the mind-blowing part of it is this one of the vocational institution the minute you apply or submit your application the uh, uh the, the school automatically consider you for 70 percent scholarship so which means some of you will have 70 percent scholarship depending on the uh, uh on the on, on the institutions that you apply to or on the course that you apply to but all the course cover this 70 percent scholarship so you know i am sure it's on merit okay you can read further about it there's a tab that will show it to you you can read further about it what it covers how you get this opportunity and another beauty of these two vocational opportunities that i want to talk about in Malta today is the fact that they don't collect they don't ask you to pay application fee okay when they offer you a conditional uh, uh so a conditional offer the conditional offer will come with okay this is the study that we are offering you if you accept it you pay uh i think uh 150 euro which uh, uh, I mean, would they call it it an enrollment fee? Once you pay this one hundred and fifty euro, that is when they can now offer you uh, an unconditional offer. And once you pay the first installment of your school fees, they send you every other document that you need to be able to go to the embassy to apply for your easy student visa. So I'm very very excited about this opportunity because it's really going to help a whole lot of Africans, especially my people in Nigeria. To be able to achieve their jackpot plus so if you are just seeing this channel like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we drop opportunities like this you will be the first person to get notifications we are still researching on greece on on poland on belgium other european countries that have cheap uh, vocational student opportunity for africans and courses are taught in english cheap those are the that is my that is my goal this uh this quarter of the year to be able to bring us cheap opportunity so which means the stress of going to ministry of education ministry of foreign affairs to legalize verify your document all that is caught all you need is your work and with your o level just take it to ministry of education or, or ministry of uh, foreign affairs for them to stamp it and all that is required there is just for you to buy a scratch card of 1005 to 2000 uh, Naira to, to verify your uh, WAEC or your own level. So that is all they need at that uh, ministry there to verify your own level. So that stress is caused. So I'm looking for a stress free visa opportunity for all my subscribers this period. So come with me as I show you the step by step process. And like I said, you can work. You can work in 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 Malta as you're studying. You can work. So the the the, the and there are many English English job in Malta. So the, the, the thought of, oh, if I go to Malta, will I be able to get a job? Will I be able to work and you know, take all of that out? You can work in Malta and you can invite your family in when you get to Malta. For now, I'm not, I'm not sure about whether you can go with your family. I will be very frank with you. I'm not sure. Based on the information that I've gathered, I'm not sure you can go immediately with your family. But as a, as a single man or woman, you can go. And then when you get there, if you have any family that you want to bring in, after you get your residence permit, you can easily invite your family here. That's for, that I know for a certainty. Okay? So come with me as I show you the step-by-step -step process to apply to these two vocational institutions in Malta. So the name of the first school that I will be talking about today in Malta, in fact, is the cheapest school that I'll be talking about today in Malta. Yes, it's the cheapest school. The name of the first school here is Future Focus Limited. It's a, it's a, it's a vocational school in Malta, and I'll be dropping the link in the descriptions of this video for you to be able to you know, do more research and, and also go through their course. These are the courses that they offer. They have, they have different courses in caring professionals, you know, like all those nursing, social care workers, and the like. So their health and safety, education and training management, food handling, first aid, health fitness, psychology, law, project management, you know, um, you know, other courses, so logistic and supply chain, human resource. So it depends on the course that you want to business management, administration, diploma, accounting and business, tourism, and you know, so the, it depends on it, it depends on the course that you want to 
um, apply for, that is what all your interests, that is what we determine the course that you will go for, okay? So let's go for, for, for as an example, let's say uh, you are interested in diploma in business. Let's quickly open this course and see what it entails, okay? And from what I've even I've seen, the price is is it is very very similar. Yes, the price is very very similar. So see it on the on this on this side here, okay? So uh, diploma in business studies level three approved for foreign further education course, sixty credit units full-time or part-time, depending on the mode. So during the application procedure, that is what that is when you can decide on whether you want to go for the full-time one or part-time one. And I would suggest for international applicants, the best option for you is to go for the full-time one so that you will not have an issue during the visa <clears throat> application process. And you can see the price. The price is 1,380. 1,380 euro, and you can pay it instrumentally. Yes, 1,380 euro in Malta, and you can pay it instrumentally, okay? So, yes, this is the overview of the course, entry requirement, qualification structure, you know, mandatory units that you will take before you can, before they can, you know, decide that you can graduate. So let's assume you are interested, and yes, I need to also say this, eligible student may get up to 70% refund on this course fee. So, which means for... With the minute you submit your applications, you are immediately considered for about 70% scholarship. Okay, it's not for everybody. So eligible only for eligible students. Okay, it's not for everybody, but of course, you can read, you can get more information to see whether your applications will be considered. And you know, or just to read further about the criteria for which they choose eligible students. Okay, so let's assume you are interested in one of these courses. You know, like I said, they have many courses. But let's assume you are interested in this course. You just click on apply for this course. Okay. Once you click on apply for this course, you put your name, your last name. Uh, are you under 18 years of age? Yes, I need to quickly say this. Each of the course or majority of the course that they offer require that you be of 18 years and above. So that is why it's stated here. Are you under 18 years? So if you choose, uh, uh, if you choose yes, I mean it's my let, let's let's try it. See. Full name of parent or guardian. So, but you know, it's advised that uh, uh, you you choose. Uh, I mean, it's automatically on no. So the course, most of the course are for are designed for um, adults. Of course, from eighteen years and above, you are considered uh, adult. You can make decision for yourself. Okay, you put your address details. You know, and then your telephone number, work phone number. You know, your mobile number and your email where they will be contacting you, email, gender, you select, you had your international passport. Here that they're asking you for your ID card, it's your international passport that you should add. Your ID number, you know, your international passport number, occupations or employer where you are working, nationality, native language. So you put there that you are English, or if you have any other language that you speak anyway, you can put it here. Now, level of English, this is where they are asking you for your level of English. So. Uh, for your GCE, you can put, uh, um, uh, what is it called, O-level there, okay? For your GCE, you can select O-level, and if you have any other, um, you know, any other, uh, what is it called, you can put it there. Then you put your, if, if you have been sponsored, will this course be sponsored? If you have been sponsored, if your parent or mother or anybody is sponsoring you, you put it here, you click on next. So the application process as well is very, very easy. You see that the minute you click on, you know, applying for the course, you once you complete this form, you have filled 50% of the course. So going to the next page, it's, it's a very, very simple step. So if you're interested in that course, yeah, and you can see the price, you can pay it instrumentally, the price is very, very cheap. And I think it is for, let's let's check, you know, just for you to see that it, it, it is a very, very easy course that is offered in this school. So let's click on, let's check another course, say for instance, Diploma in Information Technology. Let's see what that entails. So for instance, the price of this one, also for full-time and part-time, the price of this one is 2,800 euro. So depending on the type of course that you want to apply for, that's what we determine the price that you pay. And it, all of them are very, very cheap, okay? All of them are very, very cheap. So also, it also has its own requirement, as you can see. Learner must be 18 years or older at the beginning of the course. 
So you must be 18 years or older. English requirement. If a learner is not from a, ma a majority English speaking country, he or she must provide evidence of English language competency. For more information, visit English language expectation page in this website. So we will, uh, I will still show you some of those information. So that is for how to apply for any of the course that you want to apply for. So English courses, okay, they have English courses. So now you can see here, say entry requirement. Yeah, you say mature student able to demonstrate over two years relevant work experience and have O level or GCSE English and math or equivalent. So for candidates whose first language is not English, that is when you can now submit IETS with 5.5 band or GCE O level English with at least minimum of C6 in your English language. Are you with me now? So, so that is what you need to be able to, that is a minimum requirement for you to be able to apply for any of this course. So uh, online registration. So if, you know, generally you can easily come to this place and then they have an app, online application form anyway, where once you click on it, you can download it and, you know, apply for any of the course. If you don't want to do it directly from their website, you can you know, download it and, you know, apply for any of the course that you are interested in, do the application, attach all other documentation and send it to the email. Let me show you the email that you can send it to. So, uh, so that is if you don't want to see it here. So once you, so you say registration fee may be paid online using our bank details below. Now, once you, if you want to go through the manual uh, procedure for, you know, applying for any course, just, uh, download that form and send your completed registration form as one PDF file. So which means every document, your YF result, your, you know, your application form, every other document that you see, you deem necessary, your CV, that's it. Go just go online and merge. Once you merge it on, uh, for instance, on, on you know, or you merge it as a PDF format, there's, there are many, is um um there, there are many applications, free applications online that on Google that you can use to merge all your document to be in one document. So send your completed registration form as one PDF file to this email. Then they will be able to, uh, together with their both forms, kindly attach your CV and a copy of your ID card, international passport. When they mean ID card, they're talking about your international passport, please. Okay. So when you attach all of that, you send it to them within some weeks after they review your application, they let you know the fate of your admission. So that is how to apply for this school. Uh, let me see if there's any other, yes. Now, uh, this is another information, training for, for, training for professionals, okay? Now, to seek employment or carry out an internship, okay? Let me quickly mention some few points that I feel it's very, so it says student, English student that, you know, any, any, any courses that you select that are taught in English, you, the course duration of more than 90 days and in possession of a type D visa. With a type D visa, you can work for a maximum of 20 hours per week, okay? And then uh, you can work for after 12 weeks of studies, but may apply for EL before this uh, period. Application are subject to labor market test, okay? So, which means with uh, a type D visa in immortal, you can easily work for 20 hours of work per week. So uh, the template of the CV that they, so, and they have many other information, template of the CV that you can, um, you know, follow to be able to design your own, which usually is in Europa, uh, Europa's format. You can, there's a video that I've, I've done regarding that already. So you can, you can check that, you can check that on my, on my page. You will see, you will see a video that has already been done regarding that on my YouTube page. So, and they have other information, declaration, declaration of suitability. These are some of the documents that you will submit when you are applying manually or if you are, uh, if and when you have been offered an admission, these are some of the documents that they will require or send to you to fill, to uh, declare or show that you are an international applicant, okay? So, um, so that is that for that. Let me see 
what other information that uh, may be essential for us. Again, I think I've talked about all of this. And they also have um, uh, frequent, um, frequently asked questions that you can easily go to. Uh, is there any application deadline, for instance? This, there is no course application deadline. However, once the course is fully booked, meaning once they have, if they have uh, 30 people that they want to take for a particular course, once the 30 people is uh, chosen, they close application or they stop responding to any subsequent application that you send to them, okay? So that is, uh, that is so that there is no deadline. Also in, uh, the, uh, uh, also in the other school that we talked about as well, I don't think there is any other, any deadline in the place. So you can go through their frequently asked question, and if you need any further clarification, particularly regarding this school, I've talked about their cheap school fees, I've, I've talked about how you can, uh, how you can apply. So, and with that school fees, depending on the course that you chose to apply for, depending on the diploma course that you chose to apply for, that's what will determine your, uh, uh, your proof of funds, and your proof of funds should not be more than 5 million with what, with the school fees that we've just seen together, okay? So, that is that. There are many courses, many courses, so you cannot afford to miss it. There are jobs in Malta, and you can work 20 hours of work per week in Malta. So, that is that for uh, future focus vocational school in Malta. Let's quickly look at. Let's quickly look at another vocational school in Malta. It is called Malta College of Art Sciences and Technologies. Technology in Malta, MCAST. Malta College of Art Science and Technology, MCAST. So also all their programs are also taught in English. Okay. And these are the courses that you can easily, or departments rather, that you can easily choose courses from Institute of Applied Sciences, Business Management, Creative Art, Community Sciences, Institute of Engineering and, and Transportation, Institute of Information and Communication Technology. So depending on you know, what your plan is, what you want to study, what you would like to come, so that is what we determine the course that the uh, you will apply for okay so this is uh, this is uh, mcast let's quickly check some of the opportunities that are available in mcast okay so uh per venture, if you want to go for a course in uh, business management course as an example okay so these are the list of the uh courses that we have in business management so if you choose for instance diploma in business okay let's see diploma in business courses okay so this is uh, this is the mode of the course. The duration is one year full time. Okay, so and it's a foundational course. So and of course, if you need any further documentation or any further information, you can easily download the program details here. Okay, so that is for that is for that. And then let's see application process. Okay, before you apply, if you are applying through an agency, you need to let them know. But if you are not applying direct applicants, if you are applying directly to them, students are required to fill out the downloadable application form, which I will show you uh, shortly, and the GDPR form, which, you know, is a body that uh, uh, that that uh, hold all your all your data. It's a body that manage data for every, every international um, applicant, okay? So that is the GDPR. I've forgotten their full name, but that is the GDPR Form. So it's just to be able to take you get your consent regarding the management of your personal information. So once you download at the application form with the GP, with the GDPR form and every other form that you uh, your WAHEC, your O level and every other form that you uh, deem essential for the course, you submit it for uh, you send it to this email here. So direct applicant. But if you are applying through an agency, I'm not talking about. There is no uh, this uh, conversation here today is nothing has nothing to do with agencies. So I'm talking about people who want to apply directly to the school. Now, after you apply, within three to three working days after submission of your application, you will receive a conditional offer. Once you receive a conditional offer, you are expected to pay a non-refundable application fee of 150 euro. So once you pay that, once an academic decision has been made on your application, student will receive an offer letter. So that offer letter is what you will now need to take to the embassy, you know, to start application process, application proceed, sorry, visa application process or residence permit to be able to move 
to more tax. So this may take up to 10 working days from application fee payment and every other thing for them to issue your final acceptance letter. Okay, and that acceptance letter is what you will need to take there. Now, upon arrival, please make sure to inform the college or, or your, your, your representative of the day you'll be traveling. The college will inform imm immigration accordingly. Once in Malta, the college will assist you in applying for e-residency, which is, you know, your residence permit. So they have international student office that are, that, 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 that are responsible for assisting students to be able to apply for uh, residence permit once you get to uh, Malta, okay? So that is that for, uh, so and yeah, the, you can download the application form here, you can download the GDPR form here. So if you are interested in applying to uh, the school, so this is the procedure, uh, the procedure to apply for, inter non, uh, for international applicants. So um, international student application time or window uh, uh, so, which means the application time or window are being received up until Friday, 28th of June, 2024, okay? That is, but however, if you're applying for Bachelor of Science in Nursing, you must submit your application up until 30th of April, 2024. That is why they said that there is no deadline for submitting your, your application once they have enough or they receive all the number of uh, this thing that they want, they close the they close the um, application portal to everyone from submitting application. So that is that. There are other information that you can. Let's quickly check. Uh, I think their school fees range depending on the course that you want to apply for. Anyway, that is what we determine their school fees. Now, from what I'm seeing here, if you're applying for a diploma course of uh, one year. The school fees that you are expected to pay is 5,400 euro, which you can pay in two installments. 5,400 euro, you can pay uh, first 3,400 and uh, 2,000 euro. So you can pay it up to two installments. So depending on the uh, cost, and this particular school as well also offer an equivalent of a BSc degree. So that is why you will see here uh, duration of the course one year, they have one year, two years. And they have four years. Most of these four years, so most of the two years are for master's program. They also have more master's program. So, and most of these four years are for if you want to um, go for BSc program. So, and their BSc program for, for four years is is you know, is a little expensive. So that's why I'm only interested in their vocational courses that is not expensive. Okay. So that is that for this particular body and like i said all their courses are taught entirely in english that is why it is a little bit expensive because you know it, this is not a uk that uh, you are applying to so that you can expect to study in english this is an european country a non-english european country so you cannot expect that uh, uh, you will be able to get a, a program taught in english in a non-speaking european country are you with me now so that's why their price is a little on the high side compare if, if and when we compare them to the first school that we or the first vocational school that i i spoke about in 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 malta okay so that is that about the two vocational institution in malta so you know there is no excuse this year and like i said i will be bringing more and more opportunities like this to uh, Europe, easy student visa is what I title it. You, I will be bringing them like this every week. So we've talked about uh, 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 Finland, we've talked about Portugal, we've talked about Italy. This is Malta, two vocational institutions currently recruiting international applicants in Malta. So you have no excuse for you not to be able to achieve your jackpot plan this year. Okay, so let uh, uh, so that is that. Of course, if you if you are just seeing this channel for the first time, like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we bring opportunities like this, by the time we drop different or other European countries, you will be the first person to get notifications. Also follow us on all our social media. Share this video particularly. Share this video to your loved ones, to your family members, so that they can also benefit from this information today. Thank you very, very much. It's really an honor to have brought these opportunities are way once again. Bye-bye for now.